Okay, so current status is that I'm taking the rental truck and the trailer back to Penske or who was it? Enterprise. Enterprise rental truck. Awesome truck. Great truck. And the trailer back to Auburn Meadows Farm. So yesterday we ran into some complications. Uh, the truck we were using, it, uh, well, it was too small for the trailer and uh, it was a disaster. So we ended up having to rent a uh, three quarter ton Dodge diesel. Uh, very, very inexpensive. And had I known how inexpensive it was, I probably would have just done that from the, from the get go as opposed to having to rely on somebody else. Uh, we're very fortunate to have found this vehicle to be able to get our cows home. And uh, as far as everything else went, um, the cows unloaded just fine into our pen. Um, we did run into some snow on the way home. Oh, a little close. Um, but it really it went really, really smooth. It did cost us a little bit more money than we had, uh, you know, expected. But I'm guessing that that's just life in general whenever you plan on doing anything it ends up costing you more so we're really excited Auburn Meadows Farm uh, really hooked us up my mother from Tuckaway Farms uh, in Sagertown Pennsylvania and Auburn Meadow Farms in uh, West Middlesex Pennsylvania both are both are were a great help and, and went out of their way to help us uh, unfortunately my mom's truck uh, is used to pulling goats and not cows so um, current situation taking this beautiful brand new Dodge three quarter ton 2500 Ram back I'm so sad because it's beautiful it's got 3,000 miles on it and that that is the Sun in the background we haven't seen that here in northwestern Pennsylvania in, gosh probably a week or more it's it's been pretty dreary around here my wife is super excited to have our cows home we originally were gonna name them um, Ruby and Scarlet and then uh, we thought of Lucy and Ethel, but their final names are now, drum roll please, Thelma and Louise. You guessed it, folks. So we're super excited. We're, oh gosh, it's so cool to have our cows home. They're so young and uh, the, the American Milking Devon is, is just a breed that we've been looking for. It seems to me that the Jersey cow and the mid-sized to minis have become such a fad that uh, they've become priced uh, very expensive. And the American Milk and Devon is a heritage breed of cow. It was, it was the first cow or uh, bull uh, here in the United States. And uh, honestly, it is the animal that helped build our country um, in a dang near went extinct. So we're happy to carry on the uh, the tradition, I guess, carry on the breed. Um, they are unregistered, um, but it is what it is. We know what they are, so. But here we go again, heading back down to West Middlesex in Boardman, Ohio. Uh, I don't know what else to say other than I'm super excited and uh, I'm super happy. My wife is super excited. She's super happy. And, um, you know, be a year or more before we start getting our our milk and our cheese and our uh, butter, but we're moving in the right direction. We're trending forward, so this is just the baby steps into it. Um, it's been a lot of work to this point, building our pens. Uh, luckily, we had the lumber, so um, we were able to you know, get everything put together relatively inexpensively. The lumber had been purchased a long time ago for a different purpose that never got fulfilled. But here we are, we're doing it, man. We are, we're living our dream. Don't live the American dream, man. Be the American dream. All right, so I'm not sure what day this is. I think this might be day five, I wanna say, maybe, something like that. And as you can see, well, this is Thelma. Say hi, Thelma. She's she's pretty friendly. Behind me, you can see her. That's Louise. She's chilling. And and there's my my Thelma. She's a good cow. They're both good cows. They uh they took to us right I don't know 
Thelma, from pretty much the first day, she figured out we're the ones that are going to be bringing her food. Uh, Louise, the smaller of the two, she's been a little, I don't know, a little hesitant, I guess. They seem to get along with the chickens okay, which was a concern. As you can see, it is cold in northwestern Pennsylvania. We had a lake effect snows, and so it's a little chilly, but everybody seems no worse for the wear. Um, <laughs> we got cows, man. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't know what's going on with the chickens. Hey, Louise, come here. I don't know. I, I think she's a little camera shy. And there goes Thelma. They really look uh, big, but they're not. They're just little cows. Little cows. She still don't like to be touched unless prompted with food. I guess food's the biggest contributing factor. Once they figure out where their food's coming from, then, uh, then you know, hey, they're like, you're my food thing. So. Ah, oh, she's buttoning up against me right now. She must have an itchy head. <laughs> They're so cool. I absolutely adore them. Uh, oh, she's kind of giving me some head button action. Maybe she's a little grouchy. I don't know. Maybe her head's itchy. I'll find out. I think her head might have been itchy. Anyways, those are the cows. I'm rich and this is Three Falls Organics. And we're doing the best we can. Okay, so today's the first day of real halter training. And the, uh, well, well, the chicken has decided to join into the training here. She does not agree with what's happening to Thelma. She's been tied. We've had the halter on her for about, uh, seven to ten days. Somewhere around there. So she's used to the halter slip halter and now we're just gonna do a little bit more Louise over there we're gonna do them one at a time Louise over there she'll be next but we're gonna let her loose in about an hour provided she doesn't rip the uh, the wall of the barn down so I think she'll be okay we'll just see Miss Thang does not like what's happening with Thelma and she has dedicated her life to uh, this cause. Freedom for my people. This is not right. <laughs> now mind you, I've never seen one of our chickens on one of our cows be or heifers before, so. She have, oh, it's, it's peeing time here in the barn. Everybody's uh, getting in on it. She might slip my knot anyway, so. But we'll see how she does. We'll come back down here in an hour. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. I don't know why I got fuzzy all of a sudden. Okay. So here's Thelma. We actually brought uh, her up to the second tier. She's not fighting it as bad. There's no reason it's stressing her out. She's nicely tied. She's been standing there. I don't know. Probably a good 10 minutes now. She looks good. She's not going wild, just kind of stand there as she should. So, And as you can see, the chicken is gone. She lost the chicken. Oh, I spoke too soon. What's going to happen now? 